Well, getting a new driver's license can be a hassle, especially with those long lines. Good evening, and thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Katie Orth. And I'm Eddie Flores. Those lines could be getting shorter. A study is being done to see if a third party can get involved to cut those lines down. Big Two's Felice Romero joins us now to explain all this. Felice? Eddie and Katie, local driver's license offices are currently being run by DPS. But after this study is done, the Texas DMV could be in charge. I spoke to local residents about their experience and what they think needs to be done. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, just a kind of a frustrating process. So hopefully they can figure something else out. Long lines and endless waiting. Yeah, because you can get over here at about 8 o'clock in the morning, whenever they first open, and it's already packed. There's already a line all the way outside the building. It's just ridiculous. Leaving residents with no choice but to demand answers. I'm going to file a complaint right now, so we'll see how it works out. Thomas says him and his nephew took off of work to be here and at 4 p.m. are still waiting. My nephew, you know, he's younger. The dollars kind of count more for him, so for him to take off early, it's pretty, could be detrimental for what he's trying to do. A problem for a Midland mom who likes to get things done while her kids are in school. Sometimes you don't have place to leave the kids, so you know when they are off at 3.30. A problem she says can be solved with more staffing and efficient management. Another problem, lack of clarification when it comes to the forms people need to bring. From the get-go, making sure that the forms that are required, um, they have or we have them before we get sit to to wait for the representative. A frustration for many people as they have to leave to get the proper forms and then get back in line. Oh, I just figured that Midland was a big city and that they would have things figured out by now, but I guess not. Now, after the sunset review process takes place, the advisory commission will decide if having the Texas DMV is better administrator for these offices. Live in the newsroom, Feliz Romero, Big Two News.